before we started the watermelon, I would just like to show you guys how beautiful this tie-dye candy is. And you can kind of tell where this batch ends, like right here, this is like very like almost orange heavy. And over here, it's like the blues are really coming out. And over here, like the green and purples are really coming out. I feel like this is the most beautiful batch so far. Oh, that you guys are doing right yeah. now? I think so, yeah. Looking down, it looks great. Yeah. It's like somebody dropped the crayons over there. So. <laughs> so anyway. That's the secret, you know, you use crayons. Crayons? Yeah. yeah. Hope nobody finds out. Yeah. Now yeah, we're working on the water round. Our candy next. I don't know, looks pretty good to me. Dad? Yeah. Okay. I guess it didn't sound exactly like a question. What? I said we're working on the hard, the watermelon hard candy next. Oh. I think you thought it was just a statement. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. I thought you, yeah. That's okay. Watermelon. I realized after I said it. Watermelon's next. Yeah. Two of them. Oh, boy. And then lemonade. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the corn syrup must be getting a little bit warm, so that it's a little, it's a little stickier than usual. So usually I don't have anything in my fingers at all. But yeah, that's still not really that much. Though. That's all. Yeah. Uh, supposedly it helps from cracking and flaking. But if you want to get that cold that it cracks and flakes, it's, I don't think it's going to do much yeah. for you. It's just what you learned? It's just the recipe, so uh, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to change the recipes. Yeah. And two quarts of water. Voila! <laughs> and he's got to wait for the other one to come off before I can put that one on. Yep. It's only a one kettle type of stove. Yeah, it's all. <laughs> That's it. That's all we can do. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we can show the last, the tail end of this title. <laughs> Literally. I hope I do it right. The king is watching. The pressure's on. Yes, it is. And now it's not. As is the heat. There you go. This is it really is beautiful. It's awesome. Oh, now it's stopped right at 307. Huh? No, I didn't do it. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> It's going down. <laughs> what the heck? My force field. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, cheer it up. That was. Nice. <laughs> Come on, thermometer, you can do it. You remember you used to cheer Batman fight to stay up in the sky? Yeah. You can do it, Batman. Did you tell me that if I cheered for my kite, it would stay up? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked. It's still up there. Yeah. Remember the Snoopy one got stuck in the window? Yes, yes it did. Apparently plastic kites and windows do not mix terribly well. They, mm. Well, the thing is they mix too well, they want to stay together. Mm. Oh, it was on the inside, right? Because that's where it was stored, and then it mm -hmm. just got stuck to the window. Oops, a daisy. That was fun getting that off there. Mm -hmm. It was there for a couple of years, wasn't it? Yeah, I got to it when I could. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a window emergency. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a window nobody looked out for. Yeah. One. Two, 
Yeah, exactly. Wow. It's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, it really stains the glass. Yes, it does. It's more like Jolly Ranchers. Watermelon Jolly Ranchers? Mm -hmm. It smells like peanut butter. <laughs> you smell like peanut butter. It smells like apples. <laughs> it smells great. I wonder what Max thinks. Max. Yeah, Max. Does it smell like raspberries, Max? It smells like. It smells like Oh, I was gonna try to make it sound like it smelled like color. But <laughs> 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 it smells like uh, purple. Oh, I smell watermelon now. Pink. That's my favorite color. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. 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 Pretty I didn't, uh, I thought it was the old colors. Yeah, you know. Remember when Airheads did the, the mystery flavor? And it you just thought you were an Airhead. Yeah, with what the heck? <laughs> Dad, smile at the camera. Right. He called us Airheads. <laughs> yeah. So you're here now? Uh, I was never gone. Really? That's Are we here now? My heart. If you looked in <laughs> your heart. Are we here now? That's what I used to say when I was little too, huh? Are we here now? Yeah, oh, very all existential. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Terry out. Okay. All right. <sighs> Ready? <laughs> Can we put eyes on the gloves? Yeah, <laughs> eyes up here. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> What's she talking about? We don't have to color this one. It is nuts that it's like... That won't translate? Seem like you're getting more good at yes. that. I feel like I'm getting more good at it. Pretty soon he's gonna be the goodest one, Dad. You better watch out. Yeah, let's. <laughs> Except for that, I almost burn your dad like pretty much every time I do this. <laughs> no. Did you hear the ge the genuinity in his voice? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, is this one heavier? They get heavier as the day goes on. <laughs> I don't even have to rinse oh, this one. <laughs> Do you mean it? No. I'm like, ah, let's <laughs> no. see some candy in there. <laughs> Do you think that, like, when this first gets into the shot, they're like, oh man, what's going to happen? All right, see if we do a, right, we're doing the green stripe and then we put a little bit of red in the body anyway. Right? Um, green stripe and then we do, we put a little bit of red in the body even though it's pink, right? right? Yeah. yeah, okay. First time in a long time I've been on my own with the, with the colors. Yeah. It's like, do you remember the first time you drove after you got your license? Yeah. Really? No? You drove? Yeah. I don't wow. know. I think I went to the Rossos house. <laughs> I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get, I didn't even uh, take my license test until after I graduated. It was like the oh, summer wow. I graduated, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty gung-ho to to get my license, and then um, I was working at that. Oh, that's way too big of a stripe. Oh, boy. What happens if it's too big of a stripe? We have too many stripes. <laughs> oh, so just like too much color, you mean? Um, like, I should I probably should have only made it like this big or something. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's going to be enough red either.
the key for anybody making hard candy mm -hmm. at home. When you mix the colors in, don't push it all the way down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you also want to make sure that you get all the all the little pockets on top too. Because if you have like a little pocket of color on top, you flip it over, you're gonna get color on your table. Mm -hmm. And likewise, when you push it all the way to the bottom. Yeah, get it on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Like this one, this is gonna be messy. <laughs> so when you said you made the stripe too big, you should you have like put it more to the side? Yeah, so I should have done okay. like this much or something instead of yeah. all that. I'll do it around this side next time too, because that's kind of the cold side. Hmm. Uh, you know, first time in a while. Yeah. So can you chop off some of this over here and put it over there? I could, but it's yeah. such a, it, this is like the thinnest part too, yeah. so. Um, it's not that big of a deal basically. Yeah, we've had really big stripes, we've had really little stripes. It's okay. It'll work out. or something from that? Did you smell it? Or? I'm smelling all sorts of weird stuff over here. <laughs> Blueberry, banana. Just remove it down here so it doesn't get too cold too quick? Yeah, I think it's just a little cooler down here on this side. We got the air vent right above it and stuff, mm. so. Does it have anything to do with like the, the water comes in on this side? Um, we think maybe it does because it definitely it comes in from this side you know zigzags all the way down and then there's a pipe in the middle that transfers it to the other side and then it does the mm. other side so okay. I mean I guess really it should heat up from this side over that way not like from one yeah. end to the other so yeah, maybe it has more to do in the vent then I don't know <laughs> I don't know It's just nice that you guys even have more control over the temperature. That's what I was thinking about. I didn't want to like, I was like, I don't want to keep bringing up the table, but yeah, right. I mean, the fact that we can just heat it up and like, if we were on the marble table, this might be a rock by now, you yeah. know? Like, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and the temperature would have more to do with what number batch it was rather than, yeah. 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 Like and you guys don't really to seem to cool have off. nearly as many sticking issues as you guys yeah. used to. Yeah. Is it just understanding the temperature of the table better? I don't know, because when it gets too hot, that's when it starts sticking. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, that was, uh, I think, because the table was very porous. Uh, yeah. I mean, marble. Did, didn't you guys have issues with that, with we, this table too, in the beginning? No. Am I remembering that wrong? No, not really. Not oh, with okay. this table. Okay. 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 That's the weird part, is like, the hotter the marble table got, the stickier it was. Yeah. You know, if the hook gets hot, that gets sticky. If the table is hot, that's when the candy sticks to the table. Yeah. But we get this up to 120. Yeah. So must be the, maybe yeah. the marble table got hotter. Maybe the oh, you know what? I remember hitting hit it. Well, that was like right after we were done with the candy. You know, you put the temperature gun on it. And you were like 165. Oh, but it's like right after the candy was on it. Yeah. Well, maybe it was. Uh, maybe the marble got hotter actually. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like this thing's really good at getting hot and then like dispersing all the heat. Or the marble just. Collected at all. Yeah, probably just, you know, giant heat sink. Man, I cannot get the green to stop coming off of this thing. Hmm. I'll think I have it and then. A little more squeeze it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trying to cool it down? Yeah. yeah. Nice cold metal. It's like the other side of the pillow. For your candy. That was like the first thing when somebody else said it, and I was like, you do that too? <laughs> do you want me to throw this one since you did the last one? Throw which one? This? Yeah. If you want to. Oh, I feel bad. You've been throwing all morning, so. It feels bad. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta stay here. Yeah, I'm getting kind of old and frail. 
can you go camping anymore? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Max is 28 now, so. Yeah. You're not I'm the only there. old and frail on here. I'm getting yeah, my, there. One of my daughters called last night and told my wife, your mom, <laughs> that. Uh, if you forgot. I'm, well, that's going, I'm going camping with her. It's oh, like, yeah? Uh, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she came up with that. <laughs> so if you're watching. <laughs> Wait, what about mom going camping there? Why don't you volunteer? Yeah, mom to that's go? It, yeah. Not that you wouldn't want to go camping. Yeah. With your daughter, but yeah. I don't really want to go. Camping. I mean, you know what camping means? Cut up vegan hot dogs and home fries with <laughs> and relish, ketchup, and mustard. Burgers. Oh. burgers. <laughs> and don't forget the pokies for when you get smokies in your teeth. <laughs> S'mores burgers. Those are good. Anybody wants to know what that is? I remember being so excited. It's a hamburger bun with a marshmallow in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a whole s'mores. He's like, you just put the s'mores in between the hamburger buns. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. S'mores burgers. I kind of want to try one though. I tell you. <laughs> it doesn't sound like much. <laughs> it's like, how did you ever think of that? How did you ever not think of that? Because obviously no thought went into that. That sounds like a little kid thought of that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the yeah. genius of all of it, is that like, he's like 17 years old and he sounds like he's five. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> but in the best way. We love you, Lenny. I think he's even older Lenny, than that. Lenny think, he seemed like he was in his 20s. Yes, oh, probably yeah. in your guy's age. Yeah. Lenny Pepperbottom. What a name. If you're what wondering what we're talking about, just look up nature. Well, it was nature walks. Nature walks. <laughs> it's not nature, but it's nature. Because it's neat. Mm -hmm. It's neat. How neat is that? Pretty neat. Oh, you guys really need to cool this down, huh? It's. I mean, the green is. It's kind of cold, right? Yeah, this is really hard over here to do this. Boy, you'll you just stick to it, man. You'll make it. Oh. I, I get the hard work. Well, because you've been doing it longer, so you're better at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Is that a bubble or is it just like a little? Oh, Finally. that's a nice pop. Yeah. Usually there's no popping sound. Oh, oh. got a good one. You want to do the last one? You yeah, do it with my bare rocks. hands. <laughs> yeah, just do it with your nose. Do it with my goat hands. <laughs> what if goats had hands? <laughs> I'm like, where did you even get that? Because <laughs> you had bare hands. Oh. I probably should have known. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine, like, other like animals that have hands. hooves just, like, had hands. Like, they're, like, gripping onto the mountain, like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But I feel like if they just always had hands, it would be like normal. Yeah. Like raccoons, like it's not it's not weird that ha raccoons yeah. have hands, but it'd be so weird if goats had hands. Like tigers or something. I think it'd be even crazier if like animals that right now have hooves. <laughs> I'm imagining hands. birds with hands now too. You know how advanced we are compared to other animals? How much do you think has to do with hands? Because oh, like even so, if a dog yeah. has an idea, he can't really do much with paws. He can't so, grip it. So or anything. in uh, that would cause him to pause. <sighs> Woof. <laughs> um, you know we watch a lot of like the space stuff and all that, and like they say when they're looking, like when Seti's looking for like you know extraterrestrial mess messages or something. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. The more complex a language is, the more intelligent the people who invented it were. Uh, and they say that, like, killer whales um, have a language that's, like, way more complex than, than English. Huh. So I'm like, man, what if what if they just had hands? They'd conquer the, the <laughs> waters. The sea world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty neat. They say dolphins are super smart, right? Mm -hmm. But then look at, like, like orangutans. And uh, gorillas and chimps, they can all learn like sign language. They all mm -hmm. have hands. Yeah. And they're not building any supercomputers in the, in the rainforests. Mm -hmm. That we know of. Maybe they're <laughs> really good at hiding it. <laughs> it just looks like a tree. 
Like, oh, those idiot humans are coming again. We gotta hide everything. Put some leaves on it. They'll never know. <laughs> Because the orangutans still want the secret of man's red, red, oh shoot, how's he say it? Hmm. Man's red flower, something power. Jungle Book, dude, you're giving mm. me that look. Oh, like I don't know what you're talking about. Duh. <laughs> Your mom was just saying she couldn't watch Disney movies when you guys were growing up. Oh, so. why not? Because she just falls right asleep. Oh, no, she couldn't watch any movies growing <laughs> up. She falls fall right asleep. Hey, will you hit this with a hammer, please? Yeah, if we watched any movies, it was usually with our dad, because you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> no. Ever? Ever. He never uh, slept. Uh, you know, I've never seen him sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I have. You're <laughs> <laughs> lucky. And my elbows keep cracking. I was wondering what that was. Because I'm getting old, too. Just, a, just your three elbows. old guys back here. <laughs> Oh. Two old guys and one young guy. You did, you got five bucks? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew it. <laughs> well, where's the five dollars then, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, if you don't have five bucks, I don't think you're that young anymore. Canvas is Come on, Steve, respect your elders. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Well, probably because everything, those last batches were really, really sticky. Tied yeah. up. That stinks like watermelon. <laughs> it's whenever, you, whenever you say stinks, I mean, like it's I feel like you, pungent. You know I feel like I mean? yeah, I feel like you use the word interchangeably with smell. But when yeah. someone says stink, I think of like woo. I that's mean, bad. it smells strongly. Like I had my face over it, and I'm like, I smell water. That stinks so good. Yeah, yeah, like really, yeah. <laughs> Barbecue stinks, but it stinks great. Three strikes, one on your side? We think so. Yeah. Three strikes on one side. Whatever you want. The math checks out, sir. Whatever I want. I want a motorcycle and a pony and a Barbie dream and it's house. it's not Christmas. He said whatever I want, Craig. Deal with yeah, it. Yeah, in December. No. <laughs> I want Saturdays and Sundays off. Hey, you got that. It worked this year. Dream small. <laughs> and you never let down. <laughs> well, usually never let down. I want to work and work and work. <laughs> oh, then you'll never be let down. Yes. Wow. Yeah, whatever. What else are you doing? Yeah. Boy, that's nice. Yeah, the perfect size too, huh? Wow. Way softer than that last stuff was. Look, see? <laughs> well, you just uh, sort of restored this uh, candy chopper recently, didn't you? Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh man. Like really? <laughs> so people on YouTube can like go back to an old video and check out the, the chopper? Yeah. It's a different color. Yeah. How'd you clean it? It's a secret. <laughs> SLS pads. Oh yeah. They work great. Yeah. SLS pads are, you know, what a wire brush pads so. are. Sandpaper. Sandpaper. <laughs> you got a bunch of cat's tongues laying around. That works great. Cat's tongues. Yeah, yeah, cat's tongues. Why are they so rough? Um, so I know at least tigers. <laughs> their, their tongues are barbed so they can lick flesh off of bones. Ooh, oh, that's nice. Wow. I don't know if I don't know if that's the same reason that like house cats. Oh, how'd you find that out? I am. I don't know. I was always like really into cats when I was a kid. So. No, I know lions eat their young. <laughs> That's how it's all about like that. Now you know how long they're young. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Two layers. Dog food. <laughs> When they're they're standing at the bottom of the staircase, and like somebody knocks into the butler and drops like a whole thing of tea, and the lady's like, "Oh, the tea must be ready." 
color is this supposed to be? This color? Yeah, this, this is supposed to be green. It's like really dark. Yeah, really dark man. green. It's like black. It's black. Now, you guys need to get your eyes checked. Uh, it is technically green, but it is really dark green. Wow. Yeah. Sure. So, I made the spray too big and I put too much color in it. <laughs> Yikes. No, I'm sure as it goes on, it'll probably get lighter. Yeah, yeah. as it dries, it gets lighter in color. Mm -hmm. Well, you remember last time they didn't put enough green in it and then it just turned brown? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, wow. Well, it's alright. I feel like it's getting greener, though. Yeah. yeah, it gets the longer you look at it, the more green it turns. If you really squint your eyes, kind of tilt your head, and imagine it being green, it it's basically green. green. Yeah. So everybody watching, this is watermelon. This is green, but you know the camera adds ten <laughs> shades. Yeah. So. That's what I've heard. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's the truth. Uh, it's green. It's so cool just like watching it melt downwards. I'm glad you think so. Watermelon. You need that there? And you can see it melting <laughs> before your eyes. Yeah, it's right before you. What do you think's cooler, watching this mount or watching paint dry? Oh, that's where I wanted that. That's good. Because that's where you put it. <laughs> that's where it is. You know how you can tell? No. Because of the way it is. Good point. Isn't that neat? It's pretty. How neat is that? This uh, candy is beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to tell it it's beautiful. <laughs> this is pretty nice though. Yeah, this is uh, a very dark green. <laughs> I don't know what we can do with that. What are you doing right already? <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. It doesn't sound like helpful advice, but really, if you really tell yourself, just go faster. You will go faster. <laughs> See? Yeah. Just do a good job, you loser. <laughs> No, L is for Larry. L <laughs> for love. <laughs> That's not what that means. Dang it, Bernice. <laughs> it's worth a rewatch. That's what I said. Dang it. Yes. You dodge a wrench? I mean, you can dodge a wrench. Yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying. You can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. No, but I do it anyway. <laughs> he throws the wrench at him. <laughs> what? I'm telling you, that was like in theaters the longest that I had continuously laughed at a movie. It was pretty much the whole beginning of the movie until until the dodging traffic part. I think uh, we're the Millers. Yeah, no, I, like I didn't see Dodgeball at uh, movie theaters. Oh, that's an excellent one. I just watched it. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's great. I remember uh, Fee brought you and me to go see it. Yeah, that was great. Is that the last movie you saw? Uh, no, there was another one. I went with Carol to see the Marvel, the girl. Uh, oh, Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know you saw that. Captain Michael, or Captain whatever Michaels. his name is. It's about art or something. <laughs> <laughs> Captain yeah. Michael's art supply. It's about George yeah. Michael. Who's uh, that girl? I don't know. <laughs> Who's that girl?
Well, somebody's got jokes. The scary part was that it was a 235, so it kind of looked like 235. <laughs> well, that's all right. We don't really need to heat the table, right? Nah. It's probably still like 105-ish right yeah, now. Yeah, it's okay for this next time. It'll be perfect for lemonade. Yeah, Because that's a one, you know, one color. Yeah, yeah. Oh, tough guy. So I guess we should probably heat it up this time, and then we won't have to heat it up for lemonade, right? Okay? Don't tell me what to do. I'm asking you what I should do. <laughs> they let the boss in me. <laughs> Don't ask me to tell you what to do. <laughs> I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> Is that from Science Publishing? Like, uh, you're not I'm, the boss. Or Bell from the Middle? Who said you're not the boss of me? Uh, oh, you're not the boss of me now. So. Oh, uh, Is that maybe what you're that's I just remember Dad saying those from some shows. I. Like I have never in, seen in something. line somewhere. Actually, the first time I heard it was uh, Cheers. Oh, yeah. uh, what's his name uh, from uh, Cheers? The Mel Carrier. Uh, Carrier with Mel. Uh, Cliff. 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 Yeah, the know it all. Yeah. He, was, he was standing in line for something, someplace, and uh, a kid said, "No cutting in." And uh, he looked at the little kid and said, "You're not the boss of me." <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you, I don't know what this says about me. I watched all the Cheers. I didn't think Cliff was that bad. <laughs> Mr. Nolan off. I'm like, man, whatever. Norm was always there to be like, yeah, shut up, Cliff. Yeah. <laughs> I like the name Cliff. Like you have to be in the Sorry for Cliff's watching. Cliff <laughs> Although we probably only have three subscribers in Cliff. <laughs> I've never met a Cliff. I gotta I say. Either. Okay, I feel like I've asked you this a hundred times, but you guys never watch Read Between the Lions, right? Yeah. It, yeah, yeah they, they had a segment. Cliffhanger. I wonder if that's one of the ones, because like Teletubbies didn't come out when we were kids either, right? No, we were in like middle school, I think. Yeah. I'm familiar with that stuff because, you know, that's when Eric would be. I guess it depends on what you define as kids. You know, it's kind of weird that there are like gradients to kid, you know? I feel like it's the older you get, the older a kid can be and still be called a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I was just talking to Eric about that last night, where I'm like, man, because he's talking about being 21 or whatever, and I'm like, you might think, like, to you, this is the most advanced you've ever been, but yeah. 21, dude, you're a baby. Yeah. You're a baby. Yeah. And I was telling him, you know, once I'm 35, I'll look back at myself at 28 and be like, man, I was a kid then. But, yeah. Yep, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. I'm talking about you guys, like, yeah, you know, those kids. Yeah. <laughs> I think of my mom and dad as kids. <laughs> I mean, kids. really, yeah. once you become an adult, you realize that nobody really, it's not like you get to a certain point and boom, you're grown up. Yeah. You're just kids struggling to pretend like you're an adult, yeah. like the whole time. Yeah. Most, no, no, uh, -uh. <laughs> is, uh you, once you become an adult, you realize that adults don't really know what's going on and they're just trying yeah. to <laughs> they're just somehow kids. get through life. <laughs> big kids, yeah. But you should still listen to them if you're a kid, because yeah. they know more than you. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to make people listen to their, their parents. Some, some not, someone. Most parents and teachers are just trying to save you from making the same mistakes that they made. Yeah, but I find that with me and pretty much everyone else, like, you learn a lot more learn. from your own mistakes. Yep. Like, you can tell someone not to do something, but then they're really not going to know until they experience yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, you have to experience it. I feel, I feel like you have to experience the, the emotions of, like, loss and grief and like even if it's like you, 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 like you failed yeah. at something and like you lost a game like to understand you know. something and i don't know i guess there's two different levels of understanding too where yeah you have the knowledge of it or you can like truly understand it like you, well yeah like you have the practical knowledge or the, the experience yeah i don't know uh, it's like, like either knowledge like or knowing it versus like experiencing it basically yeah. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like with the 
Christianity too. Like I knew exactly what your dad was doing, but until I get it. Yeah. Or like the, the people on YouTube who watch these videos, like they, they understand a lot of like what you guys are doing, but unless they were to actually do it, it'd be, yeah, it's a lot it's a different. different it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a lot different. Yeah. Like so I think we were talking about when this all ends and Dylan's able to come in here again yeah. and oh, he yeah. could record me doing this. I think that then it would show people how like, yeah, I've seen this a million times, cool. but <laughs> then you see how hard it actually is because you guys it. have done done this for so long, now you guys are like experts, you make everything look so easy. Well, that's, it always brings me back to when your dad was showing me candy canes. And he's like, yeah, all you got to do is kind of move your hands like this. And I'm like, well, your hands aren't moving. I'm watching your hands. They're not moving. Am I looking at the same hands? Yes. All right, you got to do it. Remember my mom always, when we were kids, she'd be like, you want to do it the easy way or the hard way? The hard way, dude. Are you going to Nice and shiny at the end here. It's getting green. Kinda. It is getting a little green. Barely getting green now. Shiny. Shiny. Tammy likes shiny. <laughs> You're sick. I go start the fryer. I'm like, it's such a change. Yep, we're at 250 already. We usually oh. stop around 230. Whoa. And the two thirties are like the time when it really gets hung up. It takes a long time to get through. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. It'll be okay. Yeah. Hey, we'll squeeze it in. You're almost done. I'm not dumb. Yeah, you are. I'm not that <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Come on, dummy. Okay, so maybe I'm dumb, but. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's gonna be it's gonna be one beer out of your paycheck. Oh no. I'll make up for it, I swear. A five pack? <laughs> five pack. You can tell some. You don't sell a five pack. <laughs> yeah. It's a good idea. The last one. <laughs> Look at that, there it is. The, the round piece. one. When you get a round one, that's the last piece. So this is the first time in the history of Hercules candies that we've ever made watermelon hard candy to sell separately. I even wore a watermelon colored, colored shirt today in honor of it. Yeah, they left off the seeds. But yeah, um, you folks love the watermelon so much that we decided to make it in a hard candy. We made candy canes this year for the local folks, but they would ship broken, so we don't yeah. want that. So yeah, we did it all for you and celebrate summer. Yeah. It's coming soon to a yeah. continent near you. Believe it To a planet not. near you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> to a northern hemisphere near you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's summer somewhere. Is this riveting or what? Yeah, I was going to say, whose idea was it to put the desiccants in? Um, actually, we've got the idea from Greg at Lofty Pursuits. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because that's what they do. If it's good enough for Greg, it's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, what, were you telling you had like, a problem with uh, candy sticking together or something? Well, you know, we never even used to do the hard candy in the all year round, so yeah. it never was an issue in the wintertime. But then um, it was a little bit of an issue in the summertime, and, and Greg said that they, they use a little bit of dust can. So Greg, you're a genius. You're a candy genius. <laughs> he is very smart. He, he sure comes up with a lot of... Unique he ideas. does. He's very um, innovative. Yeah. I hope he's doing okay. I haven't talked to him lately. I probably should. Yeah. I'm a bad friend. Mm -hmm. Just putting one foot ahead of the other. So, watermelon, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is the first time that we've ever done just the watermelon. Yeah, sold it separately. And, uh, well, I know, remember we did um, watermelon candy canes this winter? We did? Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> You're the one that told me. No, that. I remember telling you about it. Oh, okay. No, we did it. Oh, okay. We did it. And we sold them locally, and they sold out. They sold very well because mm -hmm. people generally are buying candy canes for children, and you told me that that's the kid's favorite flavor, and I believed mm -hmm. you. I hope you weren't just making that up. Yeah. And making me make a flavor that everybody likes, yeah. even maybe 
Oh, I they guess don't. I'm going to have to take all of them all. <laughs> you know, uh, when we used to have open house, I would ask the kids, like, you know, what's your favorite flavor of candy cane? They'd all say, watermelon. Like, almost unanimously, they said watermelon. I was like, okay, well, I guess I better tell my mom. Kids want watermelon candy canes. Mm-hmm. I know, that's something I learned a long time ago. Listen to your customers. Wow. If they keep asking for something, do it. If you can. So, yeah. So, I haven't even, I didn't even put this on the front page of the website, and it's selling really fast. So, I think by the time this video goes up, because we'll, maybe next week, yeah. this batch will be sold out, and we'll have to have made another one. <laughs> Because I didn't even put it on the front page of the website. I just put it on Facebook and then on the candy page. But golly gee, Gumpers, it's going fast. <laughs> so I guess people did want it. And some people just get, like, if we have all these single flavors, they just get one bag of each. Because mm. like, now we have cotton candy, lemonade, watermelon, butterscotch. Now, those things are often all mixed together in the fruit and friendly. Mm. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> apparently they, they're favorite flavors. So... Mm. They're, they're buying, like I said, one of each. Okay. Well, cotton candy, we never put that in the fruit and friendly. That one's always separate. Oh, plus yesterday we did the tropical fruit punch, the tie dye. Yeah. That's a big deal. It was really beautiful, actually. It was. It's almost like we're getting there. Like we're, we're almost like we know what we're doing, <laughs> but we don't. But we're taking it really well. So this created a, your, your most recent video created a big rush by those printing out orders. You know how when you're driving down, say, James Street, there's all those traffic lights? Mm. Do you ever hit them all green? Oh. Do you? Yeah. It's a, it's like, <laughs> wow. It's a feeling of nirvana. So today I was printing out orders, and I'm printing and printing and printing. No bottlenecks. And then uh, come across the bottleneck. I slow down, people, and you can help me. You can help me not have – you can help me have all green lights. <laughs> L- read the shipping stuff at the top of the – shopping cart page and uh if you're in a warm area and a lot of you are now because <laughs> summer is coming mm-hmm. re- pay attention to the cold pack and the expedited shipping information because it's really important because if i come if i'm printing 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 and i'm handing them off to karen and sam and they're getting them ready and then across come across florida texas arizona oh they didn't order a cold pack gotta set them aside figure it out so if you would like me to be able to speed down james street <laughs> and hit all the green lights in my mind, it would so help me if you would read the shipping guidelines at the top of the page. I know it's like 10 to 12 sentences and I'm sorry, but hey, you're home. <laughs> what? And you know what, it would help you go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Read it, because you know, it's probably boring. So go ahead, read it, go to sleep, and then wake up and order your cold packs and expedited shipping if you're in a hot place. Mm-hmm. But if you're in Alaska, we're still doing okay without having to have cold packs in Alaska, because Alaska is a cold pack mm. in some cases. Although I believe they have mosquitoes the size of helicopters there. I've heard of that. Yeah. They, they snatch Alaskans small children and animals. Mm-hmm. That'd be a bummer. Yeah. Where's Craig? Mosquito got him. Mm. Again. <laughs> brought, brought him back to the mosquito The anti-malaria. <laughs> the yeah. anti-malaria medication will not help you. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, mm-hmm. I guess you want to see me uh, staple up a couple of these. See mm-hmm. my technique? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I got also, some. Also, Mom, I know that's like an older hoodie, but you uh, it's got that new hoodie look to it. Okay. Did you snag, a, an, did you snag a new well, one when corporate wasn't looking? It's, po- it's for advertising. <laughs> I don't know how long. I'm not really ordering any new merch right now because I don't know what the economy is going to do, so I don't want to get thousands of dollars worth of stuff in that's not going to sell. Mm-hmm. So I'm just kind of selling what I have, seeing how things go with the economy and people's lives and... Uh, so we're just kind of in a holding pattern, and I think a lot of companies are in a holding pattern that mm-hmm. way. So yeah, we're just waiting to see what happens. So I'm not ordering any new merch right now. So yeah, if you want something of this nature, get it now. Mm-hmm. Get it while it's hot. Yeah, or you could get the, we do have some things on Teespring too that people can get, and I'm pretty sure Teespring's still going, so, and they're just printing it as they get ordered. Right, to order, so, okay, Yeah, and it's, it's good for people in like Europe, Australia, places right. like that, because they don't have to pay crazy shipping prices. Right, So because yeah, yeah. shipping from here to a foreign country, is not inexpensive. <laughs> Can you tell me what you did with my watermelon labels? Put them um, under this or over here. Why that did was, you do that? It, I was just Ooh. using them last night. How cute! <laughs> you you made that? Yeah. Huh. In print shop, which I'm very familiar with. Right, right. When you guys were kids, you were. Yeah. When you used, you used to, to make. Yeah. Thank you. Birthday cards. cards. Yeah. Birthday thank cards. Thank you. Birthday cards. Yeah. yeah. That, that was the thing. I think a lot of people did that. Oh yeah. When. 
desktop publishing became a thing. They would, uh, <laughs> remember the like, e greeting cards mm. before they filled them with, I can't say the irises with a V. Because oh. I don't think you oh. want to say that word, right? Yeah. So, computer irises. <laughs> <laughs> Schmirises. Okay, so here's the technique. Wow. I know. How oh, elegant is that? Ta da! Take a picture of that, put it on the website. Aww. That was um, an angel singing, in case mm, you weren't wasn't sure. You? No, no, it okay. was an angel. Mm -hmm. Okay, Craig, that's all I have to say about that. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, you know. All right, bye bye. Bye now. I've assembled the A team for a taste test. Can you guess what kind it is? <laughs> mine's the best. Uh oh, mine's the biggest. No, mine's <laughs> Yours right. the smallest. The, the best part of the taste test is when you put it in your mouth and you tell oh, us how it tastes. Oh, we have to try oh, this? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? It's early it in the morning. Like. Oh, I know. Don't tell my mom. I won't. May I? Mm. I'll allow it. M mother, may I? But I'll tell your mom. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> watermelon. This piece was too big for my mouth. <laughs> tastes <laughs> like summer. <laughs> I got the best piece. Oh, it's and so it's big. seedless. <laughs> Oh, it's seedless, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> no seed. The new seedless watermelon flavor, yeah. Oh it oh, is God. missing that delicious. seedy flavor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you always wear a bad seed. Um. Thank you. Bam. No, just say thank you. The ball's in your court. <laughs> All right. It's very good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. it's, very good. <laughs> it's an Andreas reply right there. Must have been hanging out with us too much. <laughs> True to the flavor. Good one, Karen. Mm-hmm. Mine's too big to say. Yeah, it is like it's Steve, really what do you have to say to you for yourself? It's really good. <laughs> Sam already said that. Yeah, Probably. you can't take my line. New oh, adjectives. Oh, come on. That's, that's no. the Adriatis no. line right there. Can you taste how I've dark the one. green is? It is really good. <laughs> yeah, it kind of ruins it. That's <laughs> excellent. Nice yeah. flavor. Yeah, it still tastes like watermelon now. I'm afraid to bite me. Yeah, like, so it's like long lasting. Right, yeah. As soon as I put it on my tongue, it was like my slightly piece tart. Like this and it faded away, and then oh, like no. the sweetness <laughs> from the sugar comes over. One would have shot her off today. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll let you guys just get back to work, right? Oh, <laughs> <They're> all, <laughs> you rowdy kids. We're working. Okay, bye. We have a lot of shipping to do. Yeah, I'm done with it. <laughs>